Hello Leo friends and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I say it every week and I mean it every week. It does help the channel to continue to grow. All right, uh, if you're wondering about the astrological weather, I didn't do one today. I didn't do a short today, but the moon is in the sign of Virgo. It's the waxing gibbous moon in Virgo at 12 degrees and 23 minutes. I didn't get any immaterial voicemail for you. So let's get into these messages. This of course is the April 2022. I'm sorry that my laptop, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like about to take off. It's trying to return to its mothership, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, this of course is the detail reading. So we're gonna take a look at what's going on from now through mid-month into the end of the month. If anything looks like it's getting messy, just like you would detail a car, we're gonna see if we can help you detail the timeline just to get things back on track and get you the best results, okay? All right, what is at the center of this reading? Oh, and don't forget to find us on Twitter at Immaterial Reads, where you'll get notifications for all of our readings cross-platform. Okay, what is at the center of this detailed reading for our Leo friends <laughs> for April? Oh, what do you have the rapiers? The rapiers, why? Drama, just <laughs> drama is what I'm getting. There's someone who's just like becoming obstinate. There's someone who's just, they're being contentious. I don't know why this person is fighting you, Leo. I don't think you want to fight with this person. I don't really think there's a reason to fight with this person. You're not trying to fight with them. <laughs> it's like, it's ridiculous because I feel like you're like, I'm not trying to fight with you. And they're like, why are you trying to fight with me? <laughs> you're like, maybe if you would just shut your mouth for a split second and open your ears. I mean, I don't think you're trying to be nasty. I don't think you're trying to be snarky, but it's like this person, it's like they're getting all jumpy and you're kind of, whatever you're doing, I'm going to be real, you're triggering them, okay? You're, you're making it worse because maybe you're trying to like diffuse things with humor and this person, they don't want to, they don't want to laugh. They don't want to laugh, Leo. They, they don't think you're cute. They want to fight with you. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, even if this person is kind of like, a, like, don't call me cute right now, you know, babe, babe. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just feel like someone, you might have accidentally stepped, you, you could have accidentally stepped on someone's toes. Maybe like when you accidentally step on like, you know, a cat's paw or a, or a dog's tail, it's like they yelp at you or they hiss at you, okay? Uh, but I feel like there is something here where this person, they, they wanna fight, they wanna argue. I think it's more like verbal sparring, verbal arguing. Tell me more about this drama. We have Baca, so <laughs> let me be real. You, you, the two of you might have been drinking together. You might have been, uh, you might have been indulging, maybe in, maybe a little harder than you would in substances. You could be, you could be having a really good time, having a really wild time, going to a wild party. Something that happens during this party, I think it. It makes someone feel insecure, or makes someone feel jealous, or it just it, it makes someone feel a certain way about the situation. Maybe there also could have been a misunderstanding too. Maybe it's like someone thought that you know the other person was cheating or hooking up with someone when really that's not what was happening at all. I just feel like someone wants to argue about what happened at this party and you're like, hey, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I thought we agreed on that. And then it's like figuring out that, you know, well, uh, it's still bothering this person. It's still bothering your lover. It's still bothering whoever it is that wants to fight with you. Something that was said or something that was something that happened. I would be surprised if this is not romantic, but if it's not romantic, then it's a friend that you got wasted with and uh, maybe there were there were uh, consequences. Yeah, we have the birch rod, but I feel like someone like wants to, someone wants to talk about something that it's always, you, you thought it was already settled or they, you know, or it was something that you already had. They have issues with the agreement, even though they had, they had made the agreement. After the agreement, they didn't feel good about the situation or they didn't feel uh, like something was, I just feel like they felt like something was suspect. But I feel like, uh, and I feel like it might have been something sexual. It is possible that something sexual could have happened. If that's the case, I don't think it's because this person regrets whatever sexual act you did together. I feel like this person might have given you permission to play with someone else, or I feel like this person, they get mad at you because they have this fantasy. You live up to their fantasy, and then they, you know, then it's like, how dare you live up to my fantasy? How dare you be so sexually free and liberated? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, we'll see what else is going on here. We'll get back to this for when we do the takeaway and guidance. Tell me what's at the center of the second line of main messages for our Leo friends. 
now through mid-month into the end of the month. We do have the dog energy, so something either involving your pet or involving, could it be involving friendship? Let's go ahead and see what's going on with this dog energy. We have the child energy. So I feel like you might be, there might be something happening with, um, I wanted to put it here, what the dog running towards. So there's like a child here. So either this is a child, really good childhood friend or someone who was, you know, uh, your friend around formative years. I feel like you and this person are reuniting. You're seeing each other after a really long separation. I feel like that, I kind of feel like that scene where two people, like they run down the hill through like a field of flowers and they're like, <laughs> you know, they want to hug the other person. I kind of feel that energy. I feel like it's been a while. This also could be, a, this could be a reunion between siblings is also what I'm getting. Could also be that, um, you could also be getting, you could be taking in a, a dog or taking in a pet from your childhood or from, uh, I think this dog might be like, this dog might be pretty old at this point, but I feel like you, you inherit a pet that maybe you spent time with, like in your youth, we'll say. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see here. Tell me more about this. We do have the park energy. So first of all, I feel like if you're missing a pet, if you're missing a pet, especially a dog, they're returning to you. I feel like even if this, this pet is really old and you were like, I don't think they're, they're gonna fare well out there on their own, I feel like they are being returned safely. Maybe someone is actually bringing the dog back or the they, they found this pet and they're bringing it back if you put up posters or something, okay? You're getting some sort of call. Also here, yeah, I feel like you're hanging out with your bestie. You might actually be going to some sort of music festival with your best friend. I feel like, or this, this sibling or something like that. I feel like maybe this is something, maybe you do this every year, but you didn't get to do it last year. You haven't gotten to do it for the last couple of years. Whatever it is, I just feel like you're overjoyed to spend time with this person. And I feel like they right back at you, kid, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is at the center of the last line of main messages? For this detail reading now through mid-month and to the end of April, we have the bear energy. So something could be happening in terms of feeling like you need to protect yourself or something could be happening in terms of, uh, well, let, let's pull something else and see what's going on here. We do have the snake energy. So yeah, I feel like you have to protect yourself. Maybe you do sense that there is, there is someone who's maybe trying to... Uh, I feel like they're trying to poison your well is what I'm getting. I feel like this is someone who they give backhanded compliments and I feel like because it's back to back, they give back to back backhanded compliments is what I'm getting. And I will be real, Leo. I really believe that people who give backhanded compliments are basically the shadiest motherfuckers like out there. I don't think that you should, I think that you should be really be weary and watch yourself because that's someone who uh, they can't even fight dirt like they want to fight dirty but it's like they have to do it in a way where it's like they don't it's like a cowardly way okay it says something that person if you, they get cornered though usually it's the interesting thing with a coward if a coward is cornered they will take they won't hesitate to stab you in the back that's what I get okay all right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me, what is the, um, also with the 15, that's like devil energy. So this could be a karmic energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, possibly. Could be dealing with a um, someone representing a queen of swords energy, like an ex. But what's going on here? Uh, we have Cupid. Yeah, I feel like your ex is coming back on to you. I feel like your ex is trying to butter you up or get back in your, get back in your life, get back in your bed is what I'm getting. I feel like you're going to, I feel like they're, they're taking this shot, but I feel like you're really guarded and defensive against them. I think you can automatically, you can just tell that they have some sort of ulterior motives or they've just done you wrong too many times or they you have to ask too many questions you're not interested in asking too many questions or having to ask all those questions you want you, you realize that love doesn't mean you shouldn't have to be you shouldn't have to protect yourself against the person that you quote unquote love okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me what is your takeaway guidance dealing with this cold-hearted snake or dealing with this ex or this person that you know, they, they thought that they had you wrapped around their finger, but obviously, no. <laughs> no, they don't. We have, yeah, putting an end to it, putting an end to the relationship, never going back, okay, is what I'm getting. I feel like this person's going to be disappointed, though, because there's something that they're plotting or planning, and it's 
it's pretty, they're not going to be able to execute their plan if you don't take them back or if they don't have access to you is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at the second line of main messages. Going to a music festival or seeing your, your sibling or seeing your bestie after a really long separation. What is, we have the anger card here. So it feels like your, your sibling might be moving back to the city or this person, maybe they're getting settled. They're gonna be stationed here for a while. Maybe this person is in the military, maybe not. For others, I do feel like there is, um, I feel like for whatever reason, someone found your dog in a park, in a park with a water feature is what I'm getting or a park that's near water is what I'm getting. I feel like you're going to get some, you might even spot your own dog running around, <laughs> running around over there. And you're like, are you kidding me? And it could have been, it could have been a long time. It could have been at least 20, might have been at least 20 days since you've, since this pet has disappeared. Okay. But I feel like hope is restored or there's happiness, not to get anyone's hopes up. But for some of you, there is the potential that you're still going to find this, this dog uh, or this pet. Okay. All right. What's tell me what's the takeaway for the last line of main messages? Last line of main messages, uh, or for the I guess the first line of main messages. Having this argument with someone, they want to argue at a party or about a party or what happened at a party. Yeah, we have the mice energy. That being said, I feel like this this person they've been feeling a lot of insecurities and anxieties. They might really need some reassurance, or I, I feel like one way or another, even if you don't necessarily agree with some of what some of what they're saying uh, uh, make sure you validate them make sure they see they, they are seen they feel seen because otherwise that's going to be the end of this relationship okay we have the um we have the train energy or the locomotion so yeah things are moving forward either people are crossing long distances or you know you're you're seeing people that you haven't seen in a while the travel could also be here with the locomotion. Someone's plan is foiled or comes to an end because you see right through them. And in the last here, either you're gonna power through this and you're gonna be able to uh, m move this relationship from insecurity into a more secure, more stable place. Otherwise the insecurities, they're, they're, they're too punishing, they're too grueling to uh, to make it worth it, even though there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of feeling between the two of you, okay? All right, my friends, uh, that's what I have for you. Please join me again. Don't forget to join me next week, Leo, when I'll do the, the, the flavor readings. That's where if anything's gonna, you know, if everything's gonna be on fire and maybe, you know, things are a train wreck and there's no way to stop it, at least maybe on the aftermath, we can see how we can sort through the ashes and mitigate some of the damages to still get you something, something that might serve you uh, before next month, okay? All right, gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.